Right, and welcome everyone to Breakfast and Learn. We'd like to welcome again uh, Rabbi Serbi from Northwood. Um, and over to you to give us some words of Torah this morning. Okay, so thank you very much again for inviting me. It's a big pleasure, and of course, in honor of Rabbi. Uh, I don't see the rabbi. Oh, yeah, now I see him. Rabbi. Okay, very good to see you. Thank you very much and all uh, the distinguished guests. So today I want to talk about conversion. And the reason is that um, um, maybe you've heard a lot about it, but I think it's concerning uh, um, the, the English jury more than what we think. Um, our next generation, the, the, the third generation, if you want to call it, are mixing in, uh, in universities. And many times we have young, young children, men or female, uh, um, finding a, 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 a non-Jewish woman or man, and we have to come to this situation where we are um, in this conflict. What do we do? Do we we um, promote conversion? Do we say no only if it's true-hearted and so on? Or, or basically, there's many many questions. Now, to down it to 15 minutes or 20 minutes, uh, um, it will be a little bit uh, complicated, but I want to give us uh, some insights on this, and it's important also a little bit what's going on in Israel. So to start with the story, a gay couple, uh, one is Jewish, and I'm saying a couple, one is Jewish and one is not Jewish, um, co comes to me, Rabbi, um, we want to put a mezuzah in our house. Okay, so these are the questions a rabbi gets in, in, in today's world, in 2022. Uh, we want to put a mezuzah. Okay, mezuzah, you're Jewish. Your, your partner is not Jewish. Okay, that's not a problem. I give him a mezuzah. And then, and then this, uh, this, uh, this uh, um, non-Jewish uh, gay um, partner says, listen, I'm very interested in Judaism. What do I do? And so on. So I want to get closer. We want to get, you know, in, in relationships and so on. And my partner is Jewish. Anyway, bringing down to, this, to, to, to the point is what do I do as a rabbi? I know he's 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 uh, he's not he's gay, which basically says I I am I believe in a certain way of life, and um, can we convert someone that uh, his intentions a maybe not be the right intentions, maybe it is, or and also and also that he you know that in the end he's not going to keep the halacha as it's supposed to be, and this question and many other questions as a, as a, as a as a as, as a, a Jewish uh, a boy, uh, non-religious finds a nice uh, non-Jewish uh, woman in, in a university, and then they want to get married. And the grandparent says, "No, she's not Jewish. She can't get in." Okay, so she has to convert. And then she says, "Okay, I want to have this relationship, and I want to get in, and I want to marry." So what happens here? What, and my my approach is 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 a. What does a rabbi do? Where where what's what's the guidelines for for these? for the approach of this conversion? Do we promote conversion? Uh, or should we push them away and say no, when we know their intentions are not 100%, where does it come down to? So I would like to start with a famous story about Hillel. Hillel, Hillel uh, um, um, uh, and Shammai, there was uh, in the Mashachet Shabbat, it says uh, that there's a Nochi Echad, Sheba Lifnei Shammai, Amar Lo Shanyinu Mami Torah. He says to him, I don't believe in the oral Torah. And he says to me, please uh, convert me uh, 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 on condition that only the written Torah I will accept, but the oral Torah I'm not going to accept. Okay, very nice. So Shammai said, listen, it doesn't work like that. Ga'arbo ben izifa otzio, and he kicked him out of his, of his place. And, and he says, there's no place for you over here. What did Hillel do? When he came to before uh, uh, Hillel, he converted him. So well, what's the pshat of here? So the, the Talmud talks about this uh, this uh, this uh, question about Hillel. How can you convert someone that doesn't believe in the Oral Torah? This is a, especially for the, uh, the thirteen principles and so on. So Rashi says in the place, why, why did Shammai did not accept him? It says, "V'tamoshu Shammai v'samach al chokhmato shesufo shirgulu lekabel akar delo dami al chutz medaber." Excuse me. Why did Hillel in the end accept him? Because in the end, Hillel saw. He's very careful. And then saw that, yes, now he's in the position that he doesn't accept. But he saw that he will be in the future in the position to accept the whole Torah. Therefore, Hillel says, don't worry, give him to me. And that's what he did. He says, Aleph, uh, uh, um, um, Aleph Bet Gimel, he started to teach them Aleph Bet Gimel. And then on the second day, um, and the second day, he says that Aleph is Bet and Bet is Aleph. 
But wait a second. So the, the, the convert says, wait a second, Rabbi. Yesterday you said to me that Aleph is Aleph and Bet is Bet. How come today you say to me Aleph, Bet is Bet? It cannot be. Says, ah, how do you know that Aleph is Aleph and Bet is Bet? Because I told you yesterday, you're relying on me to say that Aleph is Aleph. The same to the tradition. How do we know that the Torah, what we're reading is what we're reading? How do we know that we say Bereshit Bara means Bereshit Bara? Maybe it's a, it's a secret language of a Chinese, uh, I don't know what, and it means something else. So uh, we have to have oral law to, to, to uh, we have to believe in the old tradition in order to understand the Torah, Torah Shebertav. Okay, and that was how Hillel convinced him, and therefore in the end he, he accepted the whole Torah and, and, and it continues. But what do we learn from this? What, 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 what's the message behind this story? And the message is that Hillel taught us something about conversion, that in the end, and, and, and any rabbi can tell you that, in the end, when, when, when someone comes to convert, you don't really know what, what's behind this whole way. Oh, what do you mean you don't really know? In the end, the person in front of you, the, the judge has to uh, uh, decide, is he honest, is he genuine, or is he not? And in the end, it's all about that moment where the Dayan really looks inside of the heart of the, of the person in front of you and says, is he really going to uh, 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 become a convert or not? We know now that he doesn't know all the halachot. He doesn't know the Hilchai Shmita and the details and the tzitzis and, and that. And he, he won't know. Even, even if he prepares, like in England, it takes three, four, five years. I don't know what. And they put him in, in gates in the uh, community and so on. And then he won't be a, 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 a fully, even, even rabbis today don't know the mission of Burah by heart. But what do we do see? What does the Dai need to see? The Dai needs to see the, 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 the intention. And that is very important. And, uh, um, point number two, point number two, and this is also very important, that if, if we would go back uh, um, um, in the history, we would see that converts wasn't our intention. We're not the evangelistic uh, um, a community. We don't go out there to, to make people Jewish. We're, we, we, we are okay with our community. We're not afraid. And many people say to me, oh, we're afraid about the numbers. We, we want our numbers. It's, no, we're not afraid about our numbers. We're not there to make anyone Jewish. We are good and we feel fantastic with, with who we are. But, and this is the big but, lately we have a different angle. And the angle is not at all about the convert. The angle is about the Jewish people that are in a, a conflict position that if we don't do something about it, we will lose them. What does that mean? I want to make sure that my grandson will marry a Jewish woman or will he, he will continue the Jewish uh, uh, legacy. And if now, if I would say to him, listen, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do a whole balagan, a whole list of things, then what, what's going to happen? He's going to say, I don't care about it. I will, I will I'd rather live with this woman uh, um, 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 as a, as a non-Jew, and and we all know the, the how it how it continues. The very very tricky line over there because how how far do we say that we we care about this person? How far are we willing to say okay? Since we're saving this Jewish soul, we will be more lenient about him having a relationship or with this convert or, or, or this convert not 100% being uh, uh, um, um, intentional, uh, the correct intentions to, to become Jewish. Where is that line? And that where it, all, this, uh, uh, all this conflict in today's world is happening. Where do we draw the line where we say that we don't, uh, uh, we're focusing more about the saving of the Jewish soul, less about the convert being a perfect uh, intention coming in. So we have to understand that in the end, uh, as we know, the, the converts uh, are, are, are on the Dayanim don't have to be special Dayanim. They, they can be any rabbis. They're, they're near their thought. Uh, um, and also, the, the, um, the, 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 the Dayan, of course, that doesn't need to be a big scholar, but in the end, he has to do it al pi halacha. He has to make sure that the person in that moment when he takes upon himself to become Jewish, he needs to say, he needs to, or she needs to uh, really commit to. Um, to, to Judaism. And on the last, last uh, point about, about converts is about um, when, when, we, when we, are, we make sure that the person is, um, is, is doing all the process and, uh, and making sure that he is, uh, is, is um, becoming a Jewish and, and learning all the halachot and so on, we need to see that um, 
that, that that person lives a life of, of Judaism, wants to live a life of Judaism, is, is willing to. And, and how, how do we make sure? That's where the process before comes in. In the halacha, we don't need any process. If someone comes to you like Hillel, the day after, he says, I want to become Jewish. The day after, you say, okay, you take him and do the, either mikvah, bris miller, whatever, and he becomes Jewish automatically the day after. The problem is, as we said, is the intention. How do we know? So the trick of the game is that we take them through the process before, and then we see their correct intentions. The, the actual guy that does the convert, he doesn't really know the person. He relies on the rabbi that may, goes through the process with that particular person, and then he sees uh, um, um, that he's going through that process, and then he sees how, how, um, how well of his intention is. So in today's world where, 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 um, where we are... We are in, in, in a very, very, uh, um, um, I would say, difficult situation in the English jury, if we'll focus just on the English jury. Uh, um, um, 10 years ago, if you will say to me, how many percentage of, of assimilation yet? Well, it, it was in, in the UK, 5%, 10%, don't get me on the numbers. But today it has tripled. Today, more and more and more. And I can see it in my circles where the grandchildren already are out. My intention, in this conversation with you today is really to, to um, give hope, give hope to the grandparents, to the parents, especially to the, to, the, to the grandchildren and say, don't think that orthodoxy is, is difficult to, to convert and it's, and it's a whole long process and therefore automatically you will go to the majority, conservative, reform, whatever, and that's what's happening. A lot of them are straight away say, oh, oh, oh we're not, we're not going to, we're not going to uh, make it. If it's too hard to do it in the bedding, da, 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 da. I'm going to go straight away to majority. Not at all. There is ways, meaning what? If your intention, either the Jewish side or the, or the non-Jewish side of the relationship or any kind of person that wants to become Jewish, if you really have a, a, a good intention to become Jewish, step by step, not uh, becoming the rabbi the next day. No one wants to become the rabbi next day. But if you want to become Jewish, there is a way and there's a correct process that we will make sure that you will go uh, uh, and, and become Jewish. It's important for us, and this is my last point. It's important for us as as an authority within the, the, the jury of the Anglo, uh, um, um, Jew, Jew, Jewish Anglo, is to welcome welcome all those that are hesitant that might might go other places and welcome them with a, a big smile and say you can make it if you want to become jewish in 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 in, in our process we will make sure it will be as easy as as possible as comfortable as possible without compromising on the halacha and this is very very important it's a lot about pr i think it's a lot about how we how we we promote yes we're not promoting Judaism, we're not crusaders, but we are there to help the Jewish people that are involved in the process. And therefore we have to change the way how we promote uh, uh, um, and how we welcome people that want to convert. It's so important, not merely for those that are, 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 are wanting to convert, but those that are, are, the, are as I said, the Jewish people that are converted. So, so what I'm saying is that we have to make sure that the, 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 the voice of, 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 uh, of giving um, 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 practical uh, um, tips to those that want to convert and to help them throughout the process is crucial to the English jury. Crucial. And I'm telling you, it, we see it more and more and more. Maybe other, Rabbi Lissa also can tell me in other, other circles, but so many of the grandchildren are, 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 are marrying out. And Baruch Hashem, we had a few success, which 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 convinced the the, the partners to leave the 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 the, the, the non Jewish spouse. But many many times they just don't listen to you, and they won't say, "Oh, I'm going to leave them." Yes, so grandpa, grandma, whatever you say, father, whatever you say, I'm going to leave the shiksa. I'm going to don't eat Jewish. It's not going to work. It doesn't happen anymore, and they don't care, and they they don't even sorry to say they don't even uh, some of them don't even believe in Hashem. I'm talking about the, the Jewish spouses. So so. So, so again, it's our uh, um, 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 Jewish uh, uh, um, obligation to care about these Jewish souls, to make sure that they will continue to be Jewish. 
within the borders of halacha. That means that, yes, the moment that that, that, that convert is going to convert, she, she or he are going to be totally uh, um, devoted to Hashem. And yes, many people ask me, oh, Rabbi, but wait a second. Uh, these Jewish people, uh, uh, we have uh, non-religious people, they eat chazerati, that, and they're Jewish. And why there's someone that needs to convert uh, he needs to do all this process. Okay, but again, there's a whole uh, discussion, the difference and so on. Many people, um, you might understand it, some won't understand it. But what I'm saying is we need to make sure that those people that are out there know that here in the synagogue, here in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the United Synagogue and, 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 and any other organization, we are here for them. We'll make sure that they will go through the process and, and we'll, we'll continue. As it says, I will say in the name of Chofetz Chaim, it says, why, why, uh, where, where are these Jewish souls from? Where do they come from? Uh, excuse, excuse me, where are these converts? Where do they come from? So we all know they came from, uh, uh, um, 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 they were under uh, uh, Mount Sinai, all these neshamas were outside. Anyone that converts, it means that he was also there on Mount Sinai, and Hashem puts them in every generation, and those converts are, were, were also in Mount Sinai. But the Chofetz Chaim says something beautifully. He said something beautiful. He says that all those, all those uh, souls, where did they come from? When Hashem, when Hashem gave the Torah to to um, to uh, 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 the Jewish people before He gave the Torah, what did what did He do? He went to every nation and He went to the 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 the, the, the Muslims and say you cannot kill. Oh, you cannot kill. Whatever you cannot steal. Excuse me. Oh, well, we can't do without that. We don't want to accept the Torah. He went to the Esau. He said, we cannot kill. Oh, we cannot kill. We live on killing. That's, uh, that's who we are. And so and so on. He went to every nation and says, we, we cannot accept the Torah because it's something that we don't know. But who did he ask? Who did Hashem ask? He asked the, the, the Sal, which means the majority of the nation, the, 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 the character of the nation. He asked them and they said, this is our character. We don't want to give it up. When it came to the Jewish people, he says, they say, nah, seven ishma, we're, we don't care about our character. We're willing to, to listen and, and then to do. That means we, we, we're willing to give up what we want. But the question that the Chafetz Chaim says, wait a second, what about all those individuals that were in donations? Uh, I don't know, family, so-and-so, the Johnson family or whatever it is. Those individuals that were in the nation said, hey, wait, I do want to be Jewish. I, I want to become Jewish. I also, and no one heard them because the, 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 Hashem gave it to the Jews. Hashem said, don't worry. All those individuals in the time of Al Sinai that did want to become Jewish, I will put the neshamas throughout the nations and become converts. They're very, very holy people. We just need to do that extra to help, and it's especially in this generation where it's so complex. As I gave you a simple story, how I was so complex about 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 the character. He wants to be Jewish, but he's gay. But this and that. We need to help them to come to that. That process. I'm not saying to go outside and says to bring a, a signs and posts and says anyone that wants to become Jewish come you get the free cola and this and that and money. No, we're not convincing anyone. But if we already have a situation and it's about also saving the Jew, if you save one Jewish soul, oh, what a beauty is that. If there's any questions, it's a big topic, but that's that's a few points about conversions that I wanted to share with you. Um, um, and it's also a little bit about. Um, uh, um, 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 Israel, which I have my opinion about that, but please, if there's anything you want to ask, now is the time. Chazak Thank you so much uh, for that very interesting uh, talk, Rabbi Zerbib. Um, does anyone have any questions or comments for Rabbi Zerbib uh, on, on this very interesting topic? Anyone want to say anything? No? I'll just say one thing, and if you want to ask, you can ask. Another thing about what's happening in Israel which I do think it's a danger because, because there's a huge difference between what it is as, it, as, as, a, as me as a private person talking that what, what it's supposed to be doing, done in terms of conversions and, and, and a state. It's a massive difference. And a state has to be much more cautious of its borders than as an individual. As an individual, I go to, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, my uncle, he goes to... Uh, uh, um, 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 Colombia, and he did more than 400 uh, conversions over there. So they they want to be Jewish, and they don't have alternate motives. They don't want to go to Israel. They don't want to get money. They want to. They just want to become Jewish because they love Judaism. Fantastic, and they stay there. But 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 when you talk about the state, when you talk about uh, um, a Jewish state, 
the 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 um, 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 the, the sakana, the dangers that could come if there's no there's not a strong police against all those that want to come from Russia, want to come from different places, is very very severe. And on the other hand, I want you to think about what I just said before. It's always the balance. But when we talk about a state, it, it has to have a different approach. You cannot, you cannot uh, uh, um, have the same laws as you have as individuals. And, and let me just end by my, I heard from my uncle that talked about Rabbi Yoshiv. Rabbi Yoshiv is a big, he passed away 10 years ago. He was a massive rabbi, Gadol Adol. And he also was in the Rabbanut and he was in, in charge of conversions. And he, he did something like, he had the conversions of Israel, which you know, it's very, very strict. Uh, today, you know, after Rab Amar and 10 years and uh, things change, but again, won't go into too much details, but it, it's strict, maybe not like England, but it's, it's very strict. But, but the same rabbi, Rabbi, uh, rabbi, uh, um, uh, uh, rabbi Yoshi opened another gear in Muncie for all these problems and, and made it very, very easier to, for them to convert, the people that had it. But, 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 but hush, but after a year when it's, everyone heard about it, he closed it again. Oh, why is that? Hey, either you say like this or you say like this. No, because when you deal, that it's very important, and I think a lot of people don't understand it. Yes, the halakha is the halakha, and you have to be strict on the halakha, and you also need to know what, what the law is. But there is, there is, there is, there is a, 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 a huge importance of, of, of the context of, of what we're talking about, of, of a society, of a public. And not everything we say in public, we say, we say, we say uh, um, um, behind the curtains. It, it, it can be the same halacha, the same law. The reason is because the moment you bring it out in public, you can use it uh, uh, um, to an, as an example, Zoom on, on uh, uh, to use Zoom on, on, uh, um, on Pesach and all these questions. It could be you'll find a Pesach that says it's allowed to, but the, there's another halacha that you shouldn't bring it out to public because then it can, it can, it can become a, a, a real disaster. And that is something that, I, that's, again, it's hard to explain, but the concept is that there is, there is an approach when you're talking about the public, which is the Israel, uh, um, it's talking about uh, uh, the society. And then when, when you're dealing with individual cases, uh, um, on, on a one-to-one -one. Uh, uh, because I, I'll give one example you have you have five kids yes so you have one of them that's went off the derech and does does uh, I'll give an example does drugs whatever it is so you want to love him you want to hug him but if you leave him in the house he's going to make everyone else uh, um, so what do you do on one side you have to give a good approach one, you cannot leave him in the society you cannot say oh it's good but in that you want to so it, there's a different approach when you, when you talk to the whole family and then when you talk to that individual it's just a small uh, analogy yes uh, Mrs. Hartman, yes. Um, I just want to say that uh, the land based in conversion is the most famous and most accepted in the whole world. And many people come from other countries to have a conversion here because they know that from here it will be accepted wherever they go. Whereas some of the conversions, Orthodox, are not accepted everywhere. So I think we should be very, very proud of the London based in and the Dionum and the way that they are with all these people. And I am very clear that I am the attendant when they finally come to the mikvah. And it's a very emotional thing. And, and we're very proud. Amazing, of amazing. Chazak And I think that is one of, one of the biggest problems we have is that many people, Orthodox, do a conversion and they say, yeah, yes, now you're Jewish. And then they go out and they want to get married and they're not accepted. And the people don't accept. They say, who's this rabbi? And then it makes it even worse because that person is in conflict and that person doesn't know, uh, uh, wait a second, I'm accepted, not accepted, am I Jewish? And it makes it much, much uh, worse. But to do a proper uh, um, conversion, that is the right way, which is accepted in everywhere. And then he can start his life as, as an, as a, in a new beginning. Very, very nice. If that's it, then uh, it was nice uh, talking to you this morning, yeah. and hopefully we'll we'll do it again. And yeah, thank uh, you. that's it. I try thank to poke the bear, much. but I see you all agree. If there's nothing, I uh, if you all agree, that's that's good. If you wanna if you wanna um, um, discuss something, then it's good. Thank you so much. Thank you very much uh, for uh, joining us this morning. That was very interesting and um, very thought provoking. Um, we'll see you all again next week, and uh, have a good week, everyone. And thank you again. Okay. Cool. Bye. Have a good morning. Bye bye. Right. <clears throat>